Well, it was a full force effort at a Fulton at a football game tonight by Clayton County law enforcement. This comes after a shooting at a game last night that left one student injured. Fox 5's Eric Mock joins us live at Southern Crescent Stadium in Riverdale. Eric, you've learned that people say this is nothing new. You know, families I talked to said it's not uncommon to see a healthy police presence at Clayton County football games, and they said they welcome it as long as they remain vigilant. Clayton County families didn't let Friday night's shooting outside of a football game deter them from coming out to Saturday night's game. We had to come support my niece. Porsche Baggett's niece is a cheerleader for North Clayton High School. It was hard not to notice the heavy police presence outside of Southern Crescent Stadium Saturday, but Baggett says she appreciates the officers being here. It's awesome to see them out here, so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to see them out here. Hopefully they can keep the violence down tonight. Things got violent in the parking lot of Terra Stadium Friday when Clayton County Public Schools says an 18-year-old student got shot during an armed robbery. It said the student's gunshot wounds were non-life-threatening. In a statement, the school district said it was already taking heightened security measures at Friday night's game and continued that at this game. Those measures include more officers from the Clayton County Police Department and Sheriff's Office. Officers check for weapons at the gate and only allow clear bags and purses into the stadium. Don't forget clear bag policy, please. The district said they'll continue to, quote, restructure to provide greater vigilance and safety precautions. It said all games with larger crowds will now have adjusted start times. Although they kept the start of this game between North Clayton and Riverdale High School, which drew a lot of people at 7.30 p.m. But Baggett says she's not worried as long as the police maintain a visible presence. As long as they're here, I know we're safe. Now, we reached out to Clayton County Police and asked whether they've arrested or even identified a suspect, but they didn't get back to us yet. For now, reporting live in Clayton County, Eric Mock, Fox 5 News. All right, Eric, thanks so much.